Hi guys, this is the um, foundational art exit ticket for this week. I kind of want to go over the tools and how to use them. So if you go ahead and scroll on down, there is only one question this week. Um, and as you can see, there's a, um, we are going, I'm going to show you what to do and how to use the tools. So the first thing that you're going to do actually um, is if you see it says here use one point perspective add diagonal lines or converging lines to make it look 3d you can also choose to listen to the instructions too as well so i'm going to scroll on down i'm going to go ahead and click on the shape right um, i'm going to click on this little arrow here when we click on that arrow i'm going to then choose the diagonal line so now my lines are going to be straight you could use pencil you could also um, however the lines will not be straight um, and what you're going to do is try to figure out ways that you can make um, these letters into diagonal lines so i'm actually going to just work on the j first so the first thing i always suggest is clicking on your vanishing point and then dragging it out to that very edge. And then do that again, go back to the point. And if you see, see how I messed up there? That's okay. Um, you can actually use your, sorry, your select tool and select, sorry, select um the tool that you don't want or it could just leave there it's fine um the biggest thing that i'm mostly concerned about is are you taking from the vanishing point to those edges okay so that's one of them don't forget you also i mean we can also do it this way too um if you want a challenge but in general i'm just looking with can you make let these letters look three-dimensional on a digital surface now normally this would be something that we would do at school with pencil and paper um, but that's okay um, we can still do it here for curved surfaces it's remember it's that top surface here that's going to come down and it's going to cut through a little bit and then that bottom surface here that we are going to kind of cut down. Now, when you're doing this, I really want you to kind of focus here. Um, it's going to look kind of weird with these curved letters. That's okay. That's just because it's digital. It's kind of hard for us to come back and erase all that without erasing the whole line. So what I want you to do is that's okay. But just remember um, here, I don't know if I can even zoom in here. Um, I think this is a way to zoom in. Oh, no, nope, that's a way to make it longer and shorter. Um, where is the zoom in button? Oh, hold on. Anyways, um, just make sure that your dots are all lining up in one area, or all your lines, diagonal lines are lining up right in that dot. So that is how you're going to do this. Again, all you need to do is just going to go to this little drag down button drop down to shape and you're going to go to line and you're going to use that to help you um, finish up the perspective if you don't do all letters um, that's okay i'm really focusing on whether you have to do at least at least at least five at least five letters of the um of this so at least complete five letters for this assignment. Thanks so much. And if you have any questions, feel free again to email me, Google chat me or whatever you need to do. Again, um, so again, five letters and you're gonna use, if I go back up. Yep, well, let me go back up. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Sorry, my leg. Um, and you're going to go to this drop down menu here. It starts off, it looks like this, which is the shape. You're going to click that button and then go to that. When you're done and you're finished, please make sure you hit in hand in work. 
it's going to say now it's a good time to go over your answers. Make sure everything looks the way you want it to look. And then go ahead and hit confirm hand in work. And then your assignment is completed. If your assignment it has been completed, um, you may not come back and finish it. So just know that once you've completed the assignment, you cannot go back and finish it. Um, so I do suggest that you go back and you check and make sure that your lines are all lined up and that you are all set. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.